Welcome to another class with the Cherry on Top Crafts. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica. Actually, just kidding, both of these voices belong to Jessica. We had some technical difficulties with recording the sound on this video, but I figured I would just speed up the video a little bit and do a voiceover and talk a little bit about what we're doing. So hopefully you can still follow along pretty well. Today we are working in the new Create Happiness journals and notebooks from Stamperia. They have really awesome textured papers. Um, they're great for mixed media, which is what we're doing today. And we really had a lot of fun doing this class. That's why we figured even with no sound, it's still a good enough class to post because we did just have a lot of fun with it and we used a lot of different mixed me media techniques. So hopefully you can follow along well enough to pick up some cool new techniques that you could add in your art journals. So on the left side, I am filling one of the Stamperia molds with some UV resin. And I've been trying to use more molds in my work lately because they're super cool. And the cool thing with UV resin is that it's pretty much instant. So I added the UV resin into the mold, popped out some of the bubbles with this little silicone tool, and then used the UV light from the ColourPour resin line to cure it. Rachel is on the right side and she is using one of the new stencils from Stamperia and using it to paint on a background using some of their acrylic paints. These acrylic paints come in a set of six and it's cool because they all coordinate and they also coordinate with a paper collection. These coordinate with the Our Way collection and they are just really soft romantic colors and I'm also going to use them on these flowers that I'm just sewing right now. These are the resin flowers that after they were done curing in the mold I popped them out and then I'm adding the gesso because it's a good in-between layer uh, that helps the paint stick to them a lot better and I know they won't chip off. Rachel working on the right is taking some of the acrylic paint and applying it using a palette knife. This is a really great technique for getting a little bit thicker with the acrylic paint and adding some cool textures to your page. The journal that we're working in right now is the Create Happiness 6x9 Ring Journal. And the thing that I think is really cool with this journal is that um, the rings allow you to add chunkier things to your pages like how I am adding these resin pieces and Rachel is building up a lot of layers and texture using ripped paper. So that's one thing that this journal in particular is really cool with. When you're painting these flowers you could get really detailed and go in and have a lot of different shading. I'm only using a couple colors to get some shading. Um, and then I'll add some wax on top to really highlight the raised areas on the flowers and the leaves and that's good enough for me but you can add a lot of paint and a lot of detail to these and I think that's pretty cool and also you can paint them a different color each time and really make it work with your project. On both of our projects we are using some decorative chips and that it's like laser cut really detailed and beautiful chipboard pieces. Um, so I have the calligraphy one and then Rachel has one with a camera and it says memories on it and there's a ton of different kinds of these and they're really cool because you can paint them, you can leave them as is and it looks a little bit like wood. I decided to tear mine apart a little bit and because they are so fragile, they tore easily just using my fingers. You could also cut them apart and make it the shape that you want. I'm using some mixed media glue to glue it down and applying it using a paintbrush. Rachel is adding a lot of ripped layers. The rips in the paper add a lot of texture and dimension without adding too much height to a page. And 
I know she likes to do like a lot of clusters and have vertical stripes and that just helps pull your eye through the page a little bit better. These journals can be used as scrapbooks and so she has a large photo on both pages and I think that would be a super cool type of scrapbook and something a little bit different for if you're somebody who likes to do a lot of mixed media, not to feel stuck with that traditional 12 by 12 or 8 by 8 size and make a different type of scrapbook using these journals. In my journal, I like to do a lot of just art journaling and having fun um, playing with the mediums, so I don't add photos a lot, but I think at some point I might go back to this page and add a photo on top of this photo cluster because I still think it could use a little something and I think if I ever found the right photo for it I would go back and add it in. You also hear a lot about art journaling for like your mental well-being and I think that is super cool and definitely true. I feel like I have to create something every day and if I don't, I don't feel like it was as as fulfilling of a day, but sometimes you might just want to create one page. Um, these so journals also come in a really small size. They're like three by five-ish inches, and that's what we're working in now um, because we wanted to start another page. But these journals are super great for like a daily art practice. Um, these pages were super quick to do because they're so small. You could also make them more intricate or more detailed or whatever you're feeling you have energy for that day. For this little notebook page, I wanted to use a larger background stamp and I stamped over the whole background using Catherine Pooler Midnight Ink. And Rachel is picking up the same stamp and using the ghost print um, of the stamp that I used. So she didn't have to re-ink it and it's just a little bit lighter. I'm going in with some mixed media aqua color spray and it it looks like I'm adding a lot of spray right now and it's getting dark but I wanted a nice vintage feel and then I'm taking a wipe and wiping a lot of it up. Rachel's using the same paints that we were using before and painting on some stripes and lines on her page and I am trying to lighten up some of the darker areas by painting on a blob of the ivory paint and then using a baby wipe to rub it out. And Rachel's technique with this page is slowly building up layers of color by just tapping the paintbrush on the page until it is built up in the way that she likes it. When working with wet acrylic paint, it's pretty forgiving because if you don't like where something is, you can simply get it wet or water down your paintbrush and wipe away the paint. On this page, I'm also going to add some vintage patina in the turquoise color. And my idea for this, adding this color, was to go around in the water or ocean areas on my map and add a little bit of blue color. And I'm doing the same technique of adding some paint and then blending it out. The thing that makes this vintage patina different is that it's very matte um, and it's just a different type of paint. So that is all we have for you for this week. Next week we'll be back with our regular audio working uh, class. So make sure to come back and check it out. I hope this video gives you some inspiration to work in your art journals a little bit more and hopefully you picked up some new techniques. You know, we had a lot of fun creating these. Um, so make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you back next week. Thanks for watching.